Okay, I'm going to talk to you today about how to latch down the canoes to the canoe carrier. And very important, you don't want canoes to fall off. And very important, before you leave, give a tug on the canoe, make sure it's not going to come off. Check all the canoes before you start moving with your uh, trailer. Uh, the first thing I'm going to talk about is loading on this particular trailer. If you look, the uh, wheel is way here in the back, only just a couple feet away from the end of the trailer. So because of that, if we center the canoes on the trailer, there's going to be an incredible amount of weight on the tongue. So because of that, I've done quite a few things to help balance out the canoe carrier. The first is, if you'll notice right here, we only have uh, about two and a half, three feet in front of the front bar. And instead, in the back, we've got an extra four or five feet, maybe seven or eight feet back here. And so all this weight here helps to raise up the nose, which is necessary. In addition to that, we loaded all the gear in this particular one. It's not in the lower one because the wheels are going to kick up uh, water and mud and other things. And, and then also things can fall straight out if they do come loose. Whereas in this canoe, they're, if they do fall out but stay bundled, they're not going to go anywhere because there's not enough space to get out in between the canoes. So in this canoe is half of the paddles and about half of the life jackets. Um, now I'm going to talk about how to lash these, these down. We've got a ratchet strap right over here. Uses a little bit of leverage. And to be able to operate this, there is a little bit more to it than you would think. When it's lashed down and tight, uh, you have to, to just slide this around backwards. You have to have this lever here pull up on this and then also this lever you have to pull up on except when there's a lot of pressure on this this one here you don't have enough uh, strength to do that so what you need to do is use this as a leverage go backwards and put the tension on here then you can lift this then you can secondly grab this lever pull up here and now it's free to slide um, your cable uh, your strap wherever you need it to go okay so uh, for the time being, I'm going to actually tighten it up slightly. I'm going to tell us this end uh, for the canoe. So, if you look at the canoe, um, it's going in this particular strap or this particular place here. I'm going to toss the big end over the top. Both hooks are going to go there in the end of the post. So, this goes over the canoe, and then I'm going to hook this in over here. Um, I'm going to hook this one in. To the, the small hole that one happens to have a small hole. Now we go all the way around to the back. And here's the very critical part the center post. Uh, if you can see this, the center post right here, you'll notice the X made by these straps as they're hooking around here. This particular place only has one because we're still putting this on. So I'm going to wrap this around the post like this so this is going to secure it to the frame if you don't do that and you just go around like this everything's going to slide right off on this uh, on the crossbar so you've got to go around the main um, post upright post now I'm going to slide this over the top of this other canoe and toss it on the other side let's go back and get our ratchet strap okay now we're on this side I'm going to hook the uh, the hook into the end of the post and before you start ratcheting things down you only have so much room of uh, space on the spool to be able to hold things so you want to get it as snug comfortably as snugly as you can before you start cranking down on it all right now it's snug and then if you come over here uh, I'm gonna start running the lever this is tightening up And let's see, it's pretty good. One more click. I'm going to check it. And that is that is pulled down tight on here. So that one, uh, that's pretty good. Let me do one more ratchet here. A couple more. Maybe just make sure. All right, that is good to go. Now, 
we could leave this flying and flapping all the time but it's gonna be a lot better it's annoying going down the road and you got five or six of them so I'm gonna wrap this around here